In this video, you'll see how to convert custom resources to AWS CloudFormation registry resources. With this capability, you can import privately created resources into your CloudFormation account, share them for use in stack templates, and manage changes using CloudFormation and AWS Config. To get started, let's go to AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, to look at a password policy that was set up as a custom resource. As you can see, the policy has a number of rules. Let's go to CloudFormation to look at the stack that deployed the password policy. We can see the custom resource created by this stack in the CloudFormation registry. Custom registry resources appear in the private view. We can deploy a new template that imports and utilizes our custom resource. But first we need to make sure the resource is retained when we delete the template that defined it. To do so, let's switch to a code editor and add a deletion policy to the custom template. Here's the template that defines our custom resource. You can see by the resource type that it's custom. Let's add a deletion policy set to retain. Next, we'll update our CloudFormation stack with a new template containing the added deletion policy. We won't make any other changes. Update the stack. Now that the stack is updated with the deletion policy, we can delete it without losing our custom resource. Deleting the stack removes its Lambda function and role permissions, but doesn't delete the password policy itself. Just to be sure, let's check to see if the password policy still appears in IAM. Refresh the page. The password policy has been retained. Next, let's return to CloudFormation and create a new stack that imports the custom resource as a registry resource. Select the option to Import Resources. For the purposes of this example, we have already created a YAML registry template file with the code for the custom resource. Provide the template's identifier value. The custom resource was automatically identified. Let's import it. We have now transitioned from a custom resource to a registry resource. Let's check IAM to see the password policy. The policy looks the same because we didn't define any changes in the template. Let's modify the policy now, and then update the stack to ensure that the changes carry through. We'll change the minimum password length from 10 characters to 7 characters. We can see in the Change Set Preview pane that our custom resource is identified. Let's update the stack. Now let's head back to IAM to see if the change was implemented. The minimum password length is now 7 characters, as we expected. You've just seen how to convert custom resources to AWS CloudFormation registry resources. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.